The open group has a number of different forums, work groups, and consortia on the forum side. So we have the architecture forum, the security forum, IT for IT, and a number of others in the Work group area, we have work groups operating in the areas of SOA and other areas. And in the consortia area, we have a couple of consortia that we run, the FACE consortium as well as the SOSA consortium. So we have an organizational membership model where organizations join the open group as members. They're able to submit various individuals, as many as they'd like, into our various forms and work groups. And we have three different tiers of membership, so silver, gold and platinum levels of membership with increasing entitlements along the way. So companies will consider membership in the open group where they have an interest in a specific technology area that one of our forums, work groups, or consortia are operating in. We also have companies that will bring standards initiatives to the open group because they recognize that we're an effective place to bring vendors as well as customer organizations together in an open vendor neutral environment to get real standards work done. Companies that join the open group receive a number of benefits. Uh, one of which is that they get to learn about our standards from experts in the field. There's also the notion that they can better position themselves as thought leaders in the respective areas by being associated with the open group. So the open group uniquely focuses on not just technical issues and technical standards, but also the business issues that an ecosystem faces, which is one of the real benefits that members get by being associated with the open group. So individuals can also receive certifications from the open group across our various standards, which highlight their uh, knowledge of our standards uh, and also uh, in the case of our open professions, uh, highlight their skills and experience in a specific domain. So the certification programs that we have uh, help provide recognition for individuals by certifying their knowledge uh, against one of our standards, or in the case of the open profession certifications, their skills and experience in a given domain. Members joining the open group, there are no specific expectations about how much effort and time they'll contribute to a given forum. However, we often use the analogy that joining the open group is like joining a gym. Just joining isn't, uh, you don't get the most benefit if you just join. You have to actually join and then put in the work. And then there's recognition of uh, your various efforts along the way. We do produce paper standards, but in the past few years, what we've found is that that standards efforts frequently will require the creation of open source uh, software in addition to standards. And so a number of the, the most recent forms that we've started are creating open source software alongside of, of standards. Standards are still a, a big part of what we do as well as certifications, uh, but what we found is that members want at least a proof of concept or a base platform and open source efforts are a way to get to that quickly and to start showing value to the market. Standards initiatives that'll be a good fit for the open group are ones where there's an acknowledgement from both sides of the industry, the suppliers as well as the, the buyers, uh, that a standard certification and even open source software effort will be transformational to their given industry. Individuals can contribute in the open group in various ways. Uh, in case of our digital practitioners working group, there's an open source contribution option. Uh, the same is true of the open subsurface data universe where people can actually contribute open source code. And for individuals who want to learn about TOGAF and enterprise architecture, our sister organization, the Association of Enterprise Architects, uh, has an individual membership option with local chapters around the world. Thank you.